Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another album ranking, which I haven't done in quite some time. Um, I've got a couple actually I've been meaning to do. I usually do the 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should series and I've realised um, that's sort of been all I've been doing. So I thought, you know, I'll do some more of these kinds of videos um, with album ranking, stuff like that. Obviously, to do so, I need to have the full discography of a band and... I have a lot of complete collections and stuff, but the last couple of years I've mainly been trying to buy stuff from new upcoming bands um, and, you know, just adding new bands into my collection and stuff. Um, the other thing is, I think it's worth mentioning that I don't really do this for bands who only have maybe two albums or something, just because it's sort of, it's saying this one's good, this one's not as good or however you want to do it. Anyway, without further ado, this is going to be for Archgoat's albums. You know, they're one of my favourite bands. I think universally, I think most people into black metal and death metal enjoy Archgoat a lot. I'm going to only be ranking the albums, but I am going to throw in. The first thing I bought of theirs was this Satanic Warmaster and Archgoat split. Obviously, both bands are from Finland on Hell's Headbangers, this particular release um, of the poster. Shit, I can't actually see behind myself. It is there that came with this. It's really cool. Um, I love Satanic Warmaster. Kind of politics aside, they're a really good band. Really embrace the cold finish sound. And then Archgo are kind of the opposite with less focus on atmosphere and more just on ferocity. So I think it's a well-balanced split. And I do think this is really worth grabbing, as is their original, uh, well, one of the very first releases anyway. This is the Angel Cunt EP, oh, and then it has in brackets, sorry, Tales of Desecration. I think if you if you want to hear how Arch Goat sound in their most kind of raw, primitive form, this is definitely something to get. And another thing is um, a lot of people have actually asked me when I posted Arch Goat stuff where to get it. Now, if you're in America, I think Hell's Headbangers usually have Arch Goat stuff. I'm pretty sure I've grabbed stuff from there that I haven't managed to get in Europe and for um, people here in Europe uh, Deba Muamorti, obviously the label that puts out their releases they have, I'm pretty sure, all their stuff I recently got an Archgoat shirt and a bunch of stuff from them so that's that answered first up is going to have to be a least favourite which is really kind of shit to do because I absolutely adore everything Archgoat have done now as far as putting in a least favorite it's gonna have to be the apocalyptic triumph for tour i absolutely love this record it is killer there's so many great songs on this album i often listen to it but something's gotta come in the bottom place and i think in terms of memorability and stuff maybe this is a few less songs that you kind of immediately stand out but that being said it's still a killer record and th that is really horrible to have to put one first but yeah it's going to have to be the Apocalyptic Triumphator. Next up, really kind of bringing in an album with tons of songs that I love is Whore of Bethlehem. I adore this album. I think with Whore of Bethlehem, you definitely get a much more complete Archgoat package. It delivers that traditionally kind of cavemanish sound, these thundering riffs and blast beats. Um, just a killer record. All of these are absolutely insanely good, but um, now we're getting into my top couple. Because obviously they only have four full lengths, so um, sort of, and they're all really good. They've been spread out quite a long way apart between a lot of them, so it's really weird discography to rank. But the Light Devouring Darkness, I think, is near their best album. On the merit, this is just ridiculous. Everyone will. Uh, um, I've forgotten the name of the song now. Um, Blessed in Beast's Blood. That is just great music. It's unsettling. All of this is great. Apotheosis of Lucifer. Again, storms in after the introduction track. And really just brings in all the aggression and ferocity Archgoat have to offer. I love this record. Um, or CD, should I say. But then my favourite is going to have to be the new one. And many of you are going to find it really weird because it is less raw. There is much better production value on this than all of the other ones, I think. Um, and there are some more 
more, um, not progressive, but kind of less traditional elements to it, in that there's some synth lines. I mean, you do get the odd synth line with Archgoat, but there's something about this that just really feels like the band have completely taken the time to do everything possible to make this record perfect, and to me it is like a perfect record. It's aggressive, it still has atmosphere, but it doesn't rely on atmosphere. And none of the Archgo music, actually, they always have so much atmosphere in terms of they really captivate you, but without ever just relying on having loads of keyboards or, like, guitar wankery or whatever, but just still delivering savage music. I have the tape of this as well. Um, I should be able to conveniently grab it. There we go. So, just to show that as well... Um, but yeah, this release, I think, is a culmination of everything the band have done to this point. The um, the aggression of the first couple of albums, and especially the demos um, and splits they've done. The kind of middle era where they became a bit more focused on almost a doomy kind of, I guess, like a slow drudging kind of sound. And then they have now developed this into somewhere between the two, which has these really pounding, horrendously unsettling riffs and then these just kind of crazy conqueror style breaks of just maniacal instrumental stuff and um yeah so my favorite is the new one i'm sure a lot of you are going to be in the comments going how the fuck did you put the apocalyptic trumpeter last i love all their albums that was horrendous to do but it's just i'm basing it on how much i listen to them how memorable they are sorry um and you know i just had to do it this way um so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if, if you have your own preference order of course drop it in the comments it's always cool to see um who likes which albums best who who ranked them similarly to me who maybe did it the complete opposite way around um always enjoy reading the comments on these kinds of things of course if you have a difference of opinion that doesn't mean you should be a complete dickhead about it you know it's if, it, if, it, if anyone comments just kind of like, um, oh, you're a fucking idiot, that's wrong, it's preference, I'm just going to assume you're a moron and ignore you. However, if you put a kind of, actually, dude, you know, I think this album's cooler, I, I'm more than willing to discuss it. I um, always find it interesting interacting with people, seeing um, what records they particularly enjoy. Like with the new Black Silas album, for instance, I've seen some people say they're really disappointed. I really loved it. But um, yeah, that's always interesting. As long as people can act like they're not 12 year olds and shit themselves every time someone's different. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys dig Archgoat because they're fucking great. And there will be more of this kind of stuff soon when I have the time. Thanks for watching, stay metal.